All right, well today we are somewhere new. We are at Oxford Market Antiques or something like that. Um, in front of us we have an antique shop and behind us we have a farmer's market. So we've got all sorts of stuff to explore. I'm really excited about this antique store though because I've heard great things. So I'm gonna go in, see if I can get permission to film and then we're gonna find some treasures, hopefully. If you're seeing this video, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so let's go in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. As soon as we walked in the door, I spotted this adorable cast iron hound dog. He was a little bit heavy, but he was just adorable. I have a coon hound and I've got a soft spot for coon hounds. So he definitely caught my eye. And Dagny found this. It appears to be an ashtray of some sort. I think you stick your cigarettes and your lighter in there, but he was very chill. He was very chill for only eight bucks too. It was all just a little overwhelming and you guys know from watching my videos when I'm overwhelmed, my camera work is not the best. So just bear with me. <laughs> this was an interesting mug. It was signed on the bottom. Unfortunately, it was very heavy. And so I did set that back on the shelf There were a few owls hanging around. <laughs> I liked this owl. And then Dagny pointed out another owl on the other shelf. And I don't know how I missed it. You can see there's an owl in the sketch there, which I loved. And then up there, that giant owl. I don't know how I missed that. <laughs> but we both agreed that Casey would have loved that owl had she been there. I liked this print on the wall. I'm sure it's a famous print of some sort. I just loved it aesthetically. And you can see the signature there on the corner. That cat looks like it's about to make that bird lunch though. I will say that. <laughs> Now, as we walked through this little corridor into the back room, I noticed this happy face mug. These always remind me of my good friend Yvonne, Thrifty Rich. She has a collection of these happy face mugs. And seeing them makes me happy because I think of her. Now, you can see why I'm a little bit overwhelmed. It's just a lot of stuff, but it's organized. It's not, it's, it's an organized clutter and I... I was overwhelmed and I loved it. Down here I spotted the rose medallion and you can see I didn't actually pick it up. Just by feeling it I could tell that it was a more modern piece of rose medallion. Dagny found this from Misty. We're thinking of all our friends if you can't tell. It's like, oh, Casey, Yvonne, Misty. <laughs> I liked this. I liked the style of it. It kind of reminded me of Sasha Brostoff. I don't believe that it is. It was actually marked Jean or something to that effect. And I did like it um, just because the design reminded me of, of Sasha Brostoff. So I decided to take this up front. I think it was $4. And then in the back I spotted something. And I don't know if you can see it. But it's back there. It's hiding. Dagny found this little mouse, and this one's actually signed on the bottom by Gates, 2001. Now I've asked her, can you hold this stuff so I can reach back here? I've got to get something. And I'm trying to figure out the best plan of action for reaching that vase back there. Dagny is helping me, and it's like, it's a very careful extraction of this vase. <laughs> but it was $12, and sure enough, on the bottom, it says Hager. It is a Hager vase. There is a little bit of a chip there, but it's forgiven. I was just very excited to have spotted it hidden back there behind the doll. And it just so happens to be one of my favorite color combinations, so I couldn't be more thrilled with that. Now Dagny has offered to take all this stuff up to the front counter and start a nice little pile that grows and grows and grows. 
um, <laughs> over the course of our visit. But as I continued shopping, I noticed here on the edge, there was a nice little set and it was old and I liked it. And I probably would have grabbed it, but I got distracted. And actually, I'm now noticing there's some rose medallion underneath it that I totally missed. There, it was just kind of, it, there was so much to take in that I, I am definitely missing stuff in this video. And I'm sure you guys are spotting it and pointing it out to me in the comments, but I was definitely missing a lot of stuff. This was amazing. I loved this so much and I saw $22 and then I started to notice the damage on it, but it was a slag glass. I believe it's Victorian. The damage, unfortunately, was just too much, but it, it was beautiful. It was stunning and I could just imagine what it looks like lit up. I may have considered it for $22. And then I found this and this matched a vase that Dagny had picked up at Goodwill about an hour earlier. It was a little bit larger than the one that she found at Goodwill and I thought, hey look, now you can have a pair. Now she did end up putting this back because there was just so much there and we had just gotten started and she said, you know, I'll think about it and maybe I'll come back. I don't think she did. Now here we've got some more rose medallion. I did look at the bottom mark on that and it's like 1960s, 1970s. When I'm buying rose medallion, I prefer the older stuff, although on occasion I will make exceptions. plates down here have the thousand faces or thousand people pattern on them and this is a pretty decent pattern um, at the time I was just still taking everything in and so I did I did pass on those this was really nice I liked this it was it was glass it was cased it has a nice painting on it it was very heavy, which was surprising, and I think maybe the brass on the bottom added the weight to it. I actually found this beautiful piece, and it was a silver overlay. There were no markings on the bottom, but it was a nice little jar. For only $6. The prices here were super reasonable. They were, they were extremely reasonable, and I was geeking out just a little bit, I'm not going to lie. I liked the shape of this vase. It was kind of a handkerchief shape. Now, Dagny found a completely blank pillar, <laughs> and she considered giving it to Jenny just blank, but Jenny probably wouldn't appreciate that. Her daughter collects those glass pillars, and that's why we were looking at that. Now this vase was nice. It was kind of a cloisonne, but not really. It was brass. Liked the colors of it. These mugs were relatively modern, but they had a very nice design to them, almost like stained glass. And then I found the Czechoslovakia pitcher. <laughs> And I have a weakness for Czechoslovakia pottery. A lot of people ask why. And I just came into a lot of it last year and I fell in love with it. And so I will buy it for resale. And I liked this piece and I grabbed it. There were a few of those shoes around and I we thought they, they were interesting. And now we have discovered the one for four or two for seven shelves. And they take up like a third of the store and everything on these shelves is either one for four or two for seven. And it was amazing. It, it was incredible. So there, <laughs> you'll see. I really liked this vase. I thought that maybe this was Czechoslovakia, but it was made in Japan. A lot of the times the Japanese pieces will emulate the Czechoslovakia pieces. Like for instance, you've got your Dittmar Urbach pitchers, the toucan and those pieces. They actually have Japanese lookalikes. You can see they were actually pointing out the sign. Four for one or two for seven. Sounds like a great deal to me. I love figurines and I love vases and planters and everything 
that is on these shelves. I noticed this on one of the $4 shelves and it was familiar to me because I sold a biscuit jar with this very same pattern and design not too long ago. Unfortunately, this probably had a lid and I was a little bit hesitant, but for only $4, I figured that this could be used as a vase or a planter and I decided that, you know what, I'm just going to buy this for $4. These were made in Egypt, and Dagny and I both agreed that we really liked the shape and design of them, but I had never seen them or come across them before, so I wasn't real sure of the resale value. You can see, it's just, it keeps going. Now this was a bouncy ball, and I decided that I would play with it for a little while and just give it a little... No, I didn't. I was just joking. I didn't actually do that in a place with a bunch of fragile stuff. That would be silly. These were little stamps, I think, or maybe wax seals. Not sure on that, but all, everything on this shelf is also $4 or two for seven. You can see there's lots of little figurines. I mean, I could have gone crazy. I could have bought so much stuff here and I was really restraining myself and I passed up on a lot. I, I had to restrain myself. These were little Henri napkin holders I believe they were really cute and they kind of had little wobbly heads and again two for seven so Dagny ended up buying those and if you'd like to purchase those from her you can find them in her eBay shop which I've linked down below under shop with our friends which you can find in the description I was so busy looking at this little set of dishes that I didn't even notice the tonella owl right there it was so cute he's actually facing up and I thought that that was interesting. I don't think I've seen one in that style before. Now I've noticed these red mansion plates and Dagny and I have come across these a lot. And I actually recently purchased a set of, I believe, 10 of them. And uh, they are up in my eBay shop right now. I didn't video them or anything, but I thought, oh look, there's some red mansion plates. The bird. I was actually really excited about the bird, but I had this feeling that something might be wrong with the bird. and. Unfortunately, when I turned him over, I noticed that he did have a damaged tail. <laughs> it was one of those, oh my gosh, it could be too good to be true. And I do apologize. I am using my backup camera today. My battery ran out. This is my backup camera. It's a little temperamental and doesn't like to focus all that well. Kind of like me. Here's more stuff for $4. Like I said, I mean, I could have just gone crazy and grabbed a bunch of stuff, but I'm just trying to take it all in. Lots of teacups. Um, in the window here, I liked these sun catchers. I couldn't tell if they were fused glass or if the color was added after the fact, but I did like that, that bird. And that's when I noticed the artwork. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to be questioning me <laughs> and my decisions. And that's okay. I get that a lot. But there was something about that artwork. I guess it kind of reminded me of the little toaster. <laughs> it, it was just, it was childlike, but at the same time it was whim whimsical, I guess. And I just, there was something about it. I liked it. I decided I was going to buy it and take a chance on it and who knows, maybe someone else will see the potential in it. Dagny just shook her head. <laughs> oh gosh, but look at it. It's adorable. It's like a space scene. They're like little aliens. I thought it was great. I've got weird taste though. I think that's been established. And then we've got the tiger and the tiger was interesting. It was a fabric, almost like a tapestry. I thought that was interesting, but I passed on that. I bought the alien toaster painting instead of the really cool tiger. I know, you don't need to question my decisions. I do enough of that on my own. There was some other artwork here, so I just kind of leafed through it. And I noticed this piece over facing Dagny. I said, what is that? Because the birds kind of reminded me of a Pennsylvania Dutch look 
as, as, at least from the back. And when I moved around the shelf to get a better look, it looked a little bit more Indian with the little mirror inserts there that you can see. And then I noticed this flat cat, this pottery piece here in the back. And I, I felt like this was an interesting figurine. The camera will focus. There we go. I liked this. And unfortunately, there were no markings on it, which kind of surprised me because I felt like it was a, a pretty decent piece. The bird was nice as well. I especially love the toucan. I love toucans. I want one eventually, but they are very high maintenance pets. This bird right here, I... I enlisted the help of Dagny's hands. She helps me a lot with, with grabbing stuff because my, can't, my hands are full. <laughs> so she helped me with this. I believe it is pottery and it is signed on the bottom. And I know I've seen this before and I've seen the artist's name and I just, I can't recall it, but I did like that bird and I decided that we would stick that in our pile, our growing pile at the front. Now I am going to end this video here and split this into two parts. So hopefully you tune in tomorrow for part two of this shopping adventure because we find some amazing stuff and you don't want to miss it. So I will see all of you tomorrow. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.